Afternoon everybody. This is going to be a uh, technical help video for all the inquiries that we're getting for our voltage controller VCM6003 and how easy is it or how complicated is it to hook up. This also will give guys who have the controller that are having difficulty in wiring it up so they can see what to expect when it is connected properly. When you receive our controller, it's going to be two items. The controller and a six foot harness. One end of the six foot harness is the pin connector that connects right onto the voltage control. So when you get it, once you get it through the firewall, you'll snap it into place. It's got a locking tab on it. It's already in. We've noticed that some guys are trying to extend this harness through the firewall and what they're doing is, is they're pulling with the box trying to extend it a little more. When you're doing that fellas, you guys are separating the pins that are inside, also separating this whole connector off of the heat shrink. We have this thing very sturdy locked into place with the heat shrink tubing, but if you guys yank it, you are going to go ahead and pop the pins out and you are going to void the warranty on the harness, so keep that in mind. On the opposite end, you'll get the plug-in harness, just like how most everybody sees it for the oval three-pin style internal regulators. What you want to look for on your alternator is to make sure that this harness, this connector works for you is you got to make sure that you have the sense pin on your internal regulator, which is the third pin or the last pin that's closest to the positive post. On the side of your regulator, you'll see the letter S signifying sense reason why I bring this up is, is that we've noticed a lot of other manufacturers are supplying their internal regulators but they're supplying it without the sense pin on it so if yours does not have the sense pin our connector our harness will not work the controller will not work because there is no sense pin to connect the other thing that you'll notice is that there's going to be two loose wires on the alternator end one of them is ground for the voltmeter to turn on. That's all it is, it's just for the voltmeter to display. The meter will still go ahead and be able to change the voltage. You just won't be able to see it if you don't have proper ground. The ignition wire, yellow. If you already have this plug harness, all you're gonna do is just replace your ignition wire going from your two pin alternator, the, excuse me, the three pin alternator, just change the wire harness to this one to the butt connector. If not, if this is a brand new setup, you're going to run the ignition wire to a 7 to 10 amp fuse off of your fuse box. So once you get everything ran in through your firewall, you have the box set up to where you want it to be. You're going to go ahead and plug in your harness. You got your ground, you got your ignition, and then we're going to go ahead and fire up our vehicle. And just like that, it's automatically going to be set at the lowest point, far left, 14.7, 14.8, which is our set point. If you don't have ground, like I mentioned before, what happens is the meter doesn't turn on. You can still adjust the voltage. You just can't see it off of this display because you don't have a proper ground. Get proper ground. And you're back to being able to see the voltmeter being displayed. So, again, I mentioned it's a very simple setup of just two wires. Important thing is, is being careful and not to go ahead and pull this harness, dislodging the pins. Important to make sure that you actually do have a sense pin on your internal regulator so this will function properly. If for some reason you turn off your vehicle and your meter is still on, that means that you have the ignition wire wired up incorrectly. That means you have this ignition wire wired to a 12 volt constant. Ignition off, meter will be off. If yours is on, you got it wired incorrectly. Turn the car back on with the key, it turns on. Go back down to the 14.8 set point. Turn the car off, shuts off, ignition source. 
So just to recap, when you get the controller, don't pull off of this end with the box trying to extend it. Six foot lead that comes with the harness with two loose ends. One is ground, one is ignition. Make sure that you have a sense pin on your internal voltage regulator of your alternator. And that's it. On off, on off, voltage set point. Move it around, play around. Move it around. Pretty simple setup, folks. Any questions, comment below. Thank you.